Well, it's my uh, second second day in Bali, full day. I got here actually on Monday, but uh, it's in the afternoon. I got the times wrong anyway. I thought I was here about three o'clock, but I got here about two. But uh, didn't get the, uh, the time zone correct. Now this is um, a cup of tamarack, the Indian uh, herb, um, and um, and Ilya reckons it's good for the old constitution. So. Uh, he brought me a, a cup of this uh, this hot tamarack um, yesterday morning, and it um, and got one of the uh, people working here to bring it to me today. So um, it's very strong, <laughs> extremely strong. I don't know if any of you done Indian cooking, you know it's pretty strong sort of uh, vegetable. I guess you call it a vegetable, a herb, vegetable, whatever. Um, Root vegetable. It's a root vegetable, like like ginger, very similar to ginger. But um, I've actually never dealt with it in its raw state. I've only had the powder. So, uh, but this is the real McCoy, and they um, uh, they they actually use a blend or not a blender. Was well, yeah, he a blender? Something like a blender to, to actually pulverize it and then uh, heat it up, uh, as opposed to um, using it from uh, from powder. They use the the, the natural ingredients. They go to a local um, market here that uh, only deals in organic uh, food. They they gave up on the chemical stuff about a decade ago, apparently, and now they're because the soil apparently gone really dry, and now they're using um, compost in the soil to, to regenerate, regenerate it. And so over here, apparently, the organic stuff doesn't cost a fortune like it does in the West. It's actually um, um, it's available for all people. Now, apparently this, this market that they go to here is uh, they sell the produce that doesn't look necessarily great and is not good enough to put in a, on a supermarket shelf but it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Although I had a look at the, um, the uh, cassar uh, which looks very much like a um, uh, sweet potato, a large sweet potato, a bit thicker, a bit heavier and that looked fine. I didn't see any blemishes on the, on the surface at all. But anyway, the food tastes great, so I don't care in any case. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be drinking this for taste. I mean, it's 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 quite strong. It's quite a, um, I, I suppose, no bitters are right wood. It's just a very, very strong flavour. Um, you may notice that there's a bit, a bit of pitter-patter happening in the background. It's, it's quite wet. Um, it's been threatening rain since I got here with a few thunder with thunderclaps and uh, the like, but this time it's actually it opened up overnight. And actually the good benefit is it's quite reasonable outside now. It's, it feels quite pleasant. So that's nice. And um, it was all overcast when I went down the beach yesterday. Um, I prefer the, the Da Nang beach in that you didn't have all the shops right along the footpath that, that, that goes along the beach, where the Da Nang is actually just a path on the beach, which is quite nice. But um, There were a couple of people bike riding along it, but um, I only got hassled by the traders right near the main entrance, and after that they, there's a hell of a lot of um, uh, tours that have been run for cruisers. I mean, I don't know how that survived. There was dozens of them literally dozens of them and they seemed all to be bereft of customers and I got right down the end of the, um, the footpath and I found that um, there was that's where I think the actual where they left from most of the boats and there were, were a couple of customers but you got the feeling things are pretty quiet at the moment because I went to a, 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 a a highly rated restaurant yesterday. Not not expensive at all. Very cheap actually, but uh, very nice. Yeah, got a got a 4.9 on Google, which is extremely good rating, with, especially when you got a substantial number of reviews, like 150. And it was good, and the staff were good, and I spoke to the owners, and um, yeah, I get the impression that that you know things like coronavirus are not exactly um, uh, they are having an effect already and, and I guess these people know that it's not going to get any better in the short term or medium term, it's going to get worse. So, yeah, I feel sorry for people running businesses. It's going to be rough for, for virtually everybody um, in the next uh, six months, I would think. It's going to be a tough time. 
so looking after your health is a good idea because um, and when I get back to Cairns in a couple of days on Friday, well, I'll probably do my shopping on Sunday morning, I'll make sure I stock up with a lot of canned stuff and things just in case because there's a couple of people, Sticks and Hammer and uh, Tim Poole on YouTube who I watch every morning, uh, they both keep re emphasising that it may sound paranoid but you should stock up with food just in case there's panic buying that takes place in your area. It is possible there are empty shelves in Italy today because of that. Uh, I don't know how Italy got so badly affected. That, um, that's going to play right into Salvini's hands because um, uh, he got the, he, he, there was a coup against him. He's one of the most popular leaders Italy's ever had, from what I can gather, and he's he's poised to return because Italy's got an inherently unstable government. Has done the still post post World War Two. It's been it always had unstable government. So Salvini will be back in power very soon. So. That'll make things a bit better, and people will blame the current regime for poor economic growth, as well as good economic decline, and uh, and not controlling the borders with the virus. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm not really doing this for the taste, <laughs> but I will try it. I mean, what the hell? I think mean, it's supposed to be good for digestion, actually. I like it as an ingredient though, I do enjoy putting it into um, slow cooked uh, meat and, and veggies, uh, I do that from time to time and um, yeah that's one of the one of the, the spices I put in. Mm. So um, yeah I found, found a decent sports bar, uh, only downside was I had a, a, an Aussie um, uh, commercial feed on the TV, so it's a bit annoying having all that stuff. And especially if you're in Bali, you don't want to be listening, feeling like you're just in a in a in a local pub in Australia. That's what I tell them. But the staff were very good, and the prices were good, and service was good. I even got nuts eventually. They they um, but you have to request them. They come in a little plastic bag, the same beer nuts you get in Vietnam, and they were a freebie, so that was good. So I'll. Um, yeah, I'll go back there. It was good after a long walk. I, I, I walked probably a couple of kilometres, and uh, which was okay. And what I'll do today, uh, weather permitting, is go uh, the opposite direction. I'll go down south as opposed to the northern bit, which goes to where the, the ferries leave. I'll head off down south. And what I might do is I'll, I'll go along the beach, and then I'll cut across inland a little bit to where the main road is, which is very nice. As a matter of fact, it's probably the most attractive road I've seen here, I think, where all the shops are, the commercial road. It's um, not, the, not the big one I crossed to get on the other side there, to the beach side, but there's another road that runs, that, that winds around, uh, just not far from the beach. And that, that, they've got some beautiful uh, buildings along there and interesting shops. And yeah, it'll be a good walk, very good walk. Looking forward to that. Uh, I did have a, a technical glitch here yesterday, um, and that was uh, uploading. Uh, the download speed's fine here, but the, the upload took forever. It was, uh, I had a, the usual size clip, which is about 15 minutes, and it looked like it was going to take several days to, to, to upload, but for some reason it picked up after the um, uh, early after, before around midday uh, to early afternoon it was snail's pace but, it, but once I got back from my walk uh, it, uh, I found 50% of it had been up, um, uploaded so the connection must have improved. It could be just a temporary glitch that you get with ISP. So, yeah. But um, yeah, luck luckily that's okay, but I'll probably restrict the, the length of the clips a little bit here just to just in case the uh, upload's a bit slow. Um, that's why I upgraded my my, uh, my connection in Australia because I, uh, the downloads were fine on the basic uh, plan, which was a 12 gigabyte plan, um, but the uh, the, the uploads were incredibly slow, so I switched to the next plan up for an extra ten dollars a month, and it made all the difference. So. And seeing I'm putting, always putting I'm putting up YouTube videos quite regularly, as you know, um, you want a decent connection, a de decent ISP. Yeah, I've noticed here there's there's a bit of censorship too. There's a, there's a 
Um, yeah, I've been blocked from a couple of sites here, so it's a bit different to Vietnam. Vietnam, I have no problems. Um, it's exactly the same as Australia, but here it's a bit more restrictive. So that's an interesting thing too. I didn't expect. I think they've clamped down actually. So um, it's a more conservative country. Um, you can tell you, like, say, so you don't. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, you don't see. Um, the same thing with, with um, you know, attractive young women in the street, or, or you just don't see that much here. It's, it's a bit different. Um, so, um, and it's very pleasant here, very pleasant. This is a nice place to stay. Absurdly large. I'll do a tour of the you know, where I'm actually staying now. This is actually the balcony area in the front, and um, it's. Um, the actual room itself is, is massive, just massive. It's got, there's another bed, there's a double bed and a single bed, and it's crazy. And, and a huge storage area down the back as well, so just stuff I don't need. I, um, when I first came here, I stayed over there, which is only like a little one bedroom place, which is what I really needed. Just a, well, you know, just a, a, it was much smaller, but less, less than half the size of this, I would think. So. This would be great for a big group of people. We've got a huge wardrobe, but we've got a several wardrobes here, so I think you get maybe large groups coming in here. Um, mm, I'm getting through it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to do today. It's a bit wet. It's, it's, the rain has settled in. I'll have breakfast and reassess and see how we go. Hopefully I can head off uh, again uh, early afternoon and have a long walk and just uh, check out the area. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, the food's been fine here. Yeah, I've just got to find um, a few more green veggies. So, um, that's the only one I haven't had yet. But I'm, I'm almost going to be coming home. So it's, it's, I'm almost at the... Um, home straight now because you know I've been, been on the road for about three months and I'm, it's only a few days now I'll be back in Cairns. So amazing. I'm looking forward to it though. I'm looking forward to getting back to my place. Hopefully it's all in one piece. At least there hasn't been a cyclone. That's that's good news. Uh, it's always a worry when you're uh, when you're living in Cairns. But um, yeah, it's very very nice here. Uh, one of them just pan across and give you a view of the uh, the compound. There you go. Yeah, that's not too shabby, is it? Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.